Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a librarian. In this video, we're going to talk about eight advanced Google search terms that you can use to find things. By the end of this video, you should be able to comfortably use the tools we have talked about to further your search engine skills. Feel free to pause this video along the way and try these searches for yourself. Number one, Google Scholar. Google Scholar can be found at scholar.google.com. It's great for finding academic articles and can be great if you're looking to find a specific phrase in a book. Let's try Homeless Youth Seattle. The best part about Google Scholar is you can see how many people have cited this article. You can also click here to see related articles. Keep in mind that there are a lot of results. That means some might not be helpful and some might not be available to you as a student. Check with your librarian if you have any questions. Number two, brackets. Heading back to Google's main page, let's see what happens when we search China. Lots of results, right? What if we were looking for information not about the country, but instead about the dishes? If we put China patterns in brackets, Google will only return searches to you that have the word China and the word patterns together. This is also a great way of searching for names. Number three, file type. Let's say you're looking for information on airplanes, but only want to read PDF type files. No problem. All you have to do is type airplanes, then file type colon PDF. You have to be careful not to put a space between the colon and the file type though, or the search might not work. You can see if it's a PDF by looking here. This also works for other file types, like PowerPoint, documents, and images. Number four, in text. This trick is very similar to file type. If you're looking for information on airplanes, but only want to read about their wings, you can search airplanes, then in text, colon, wings. The search results will only show you information that talks about airplane wings. Just like file type, remember not to put a space between colon and wings. Number five, plus and minus. This is one of my favorite ways to find information on Google. Unlike other search engines, Google doesn't have an AND function you can put between words so it knows you want to search two terms instead of just one. Instead, you can use the plus and minus symbols. Plus for adding something and minus for subtracting it. Let's say I want to find a great coffee shop in Seattle, but I don't want to go to a Starbucks. I would just search coffee plus Seattle minus Starbucks. Once again, spacing matters here. Don't put a space between the minus sign and the word you want eliminated. Number six, in URL. Have an assignment where your professor only wants you to use sources from a specific website? No problem. In Google, we can use the in URL function to find results that are from a specific website. I'm going to search visas, but I only want results from the US government website. I can simply type visa in URL colon USA.gov. Once again, watch the spacing here. Number seven, number range. Looking for information that's only from a specific time period? Just use three dots between the dates to get results. If I'm looking for Venezuelan history, but I only want to read what happened between 1800 and 1850, I can just type Venezuela history 1800 dot 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 1850. The search will only give me results that talks about events from between these dates. Number eight, Google advanced search. If any of this is confusing to you, don't worry. I know it's a lot to remember. You can find everything I've talked about at google.com slash advanced underscore search. Here you can narrow results by date, by file type, and tons of other stuff too. I hope this helps you find things on Google a little more easily. Happy searching!